Hi, I'm Chad Stanton, the host of I Can Do That. Some of you might know that I like collecting hand planes, but I also like using them. Here's an example of something where I wanted to show you where hand planes are still relevant today. If you wanted crown molding, you would have to go to a big box store and buy various pieces of trim and stack them all together. But when you do that, although it's large, you're losing something. It looks very flat. The carpenters back in the day knew something all the way from the Greeks, and that was using these deep hollows and rounds to make moldings. So what's the point of that? Well, the Greeks relied on this because as the sun would rise and set, it would cast different shadows and highlights on the molding. So every time you walked in the room, it had a different look and a different feel. So the carpenters, what they would do out on the job site was that the lumber was dropped off for them and it was given to them in this rough form. And from here, they would have to shape it all the way to the finished product. The apprentices would use the different planes that would show the profiles and you can make any shape that you want. The apprentice worked for seven years for free for the master to learn the tips and tricks on how to do this. Now today we don't have that luxury. If you want to do it, you have to invest your own time. And to make moldings like this, well, you could go out and buy a whole bunch of different router bits and shapers, or you could get yourself some hand planes and do it yourself. So one last thing I wanted to show you. Back in the day, they probably would have took the different moldings and just nailed it together. But I've been studying some Asian joinery, and I thought this would be a fun place to try it out. To hold these pieces together, I'm using a dovetail key. So the dovetail piece here, it will slide into this mortise, and then the mortise is shaped to the same profile as that key. This is how they actually used to attach the tabletops. See, they didn't have access to iron and steel like we did in early times. So by using these dovetail keys, it would allow the tabletop to expand and contract and still hold it tight to the legs. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little demonstration and I hope it encourages you to find some inspiration and get some hand planes and see what you can create.